Hey guys, Rob Murphy from Holistic Healing Choices here. Now today I'm going to take you through a short little Reiki meditation around the subject of fear. Now there are many reasons that we feel fear. Some can be to protect us. So we feel that feeling. When we go to do something or we think about doing something, that's going to put us into a position that may put us worse off than when we started. So for instance, like public speaking, we may make a fool of ourselves, we may be ridiculed, we may be wrong about what we're talking about, which would make us look stupid, look not good enough, not anything as well, or we might get fired if we're being dramatic about the situation, and all of those sort of fears that we have. So if we're fired, then we're poor, if we're poor, then we can't afford a house or to eat or blah blah blah. Other things that we fear too are phobias. So it might be a fear of heights, a fear of spiders, the list goes on. Now these are more things that it's just that we don't understand or we fear that the worst may happen. Like I mean really like spiders can range from that size to that size. We're far superior in strength and size to them. I mean they might have us a little bit on speed sometimes, but what's really the worst that can happen? They can bite us? Yeah. Most of the time our body will be able to actually overcome that. And if not, we've got plenty of time in most situations to get to somewhere where we can get some treatment for that. So why do we still fear these things? Is it because of our lack of understanding? And in some cases that can be it. Why we fear other people is because of our lack of understanding to them. Not because they will bring us physical harm. Or in that position that they're in as well they may have a position over us so we fear what they may do to us because that may affect us once again with the joblessness and homelessness and starvation that follows on so fear is something that you know can be quite helpful in a way we look at it as a thing of okay what's happening but it's about being able to stop that fear or null it down and still be able to act with it so even if we fear that spider, we can still work our way around that, whether we collect it up, throw it outside, whether we leave it alone, whether we just avoid the situation or get out of there. The same thing about with people and stuff as well. So if that person does wish to bring us physical harm, okay, rather than freeze up or worry about what's happening, calmly remove yourself from the situation if possible or look for the best possible way to defend yourself in that. And with the stage, ridicule, not being good enough, being laughed at, that sort of thing, is it really that bad? Is it really going to bring you physical harm? So these are the things, like the fear, thank you for helping me realize that there's something in this situation that I need to be aware of, but I've got it from here. Because once again, really, there's not a great deal of situations that will bring you that level of physical harm that we so greatly fear from it. So, with all that being said, I want you to just allow yourself to really feel safe. Find somewhere where you can lie or sit where you're totally safe. Totally at ease. Just allow yourself to still be aware of what's around you, but to be totally comfortable in that space. Notice what you can hear and to a certain degree what you can feel. What is whatever you're lying or sitting against feeling like against your skin? What do your clothes feel like against your skin? Are you a little bit cool or are you a little bit warm? I'm feeling into all that now. I'm just going to do my symbols down here as you continue to relax now. Just taking that nice deep breath in. 
And as you exhale, releasing any stress, tension, or fear that you may be feeling throughout your body. Just releasing and letting go. And as you lay there, completely calm, I want you to just become aware of your body. Just notice how it feels in this moment. Now, in this moment, I want you to become aware of if there is any fear or that feeling of being scared coming through whatsoever. If there is, I want you to just be aware. Just be aware of what that's doing to you. For instance, it could be making your heart beat just a little bit faster or a lot faster. Could be making you sweat that little bit or just raise that temperature as you're ready for action in that state. Could be making you hold your muscles a little bit more tense as you are ready to strike out at whatever is causing that fear. So if that's the case, I want you to just breathe in and as you exhale, just allowing everything to let go. Knowing that you are completely safe in this moment. And so as you know, and as you feel completely safe in this moment, I want you to just allow your unconscious mind just to give you glimpses of what it is that might make you scared, that might make that fear come up. Now, consciously, I want you to be aware of why that's the issue for you. And allow that to be answered by the subconscious as to why you shouldn't be afraid of that. Just as it's given you glimpses of these things that you should or are afraid of, allow it to give you glimpses of what it would look like to be totally in control. Be totally in control in that situation. Acting in that situation as though you would, as you would with something that you're completely confident with, completely at ease with. Now, as you see yourself in that situation, what I'd like you to do is to allow this energy to start flowing down through your crown and in through your mind, calming that mind. Allowing your mind to be at peace in those situations. Feeling what you feel that you would feel in those situations but just becoming totally at peace with that now. And as you're totally at peace with that, just allowing, allowing that to just gently drift away and for your body to come back to that calm, slow, relaxed breathing state that you've just been in. And as you allow this energy further down, this beautiful white light healing energy, coming down, releasing and removing any and all fears that you have down through your neck and throat, and down through into the heart. Just relaxing, releasing, and putting you in control of those organs, 
those feelings, those situations. And feeling that ease, feeling that lightness that comes with knowing that you're in control. Allowing that now all the way down to your hands, to the tips of each and every finger. Feeling that calmness, feeling that warmth in your palms from that energy. And allowing that to come down all the way through your torso, calming your stomach, releasing just any little butterflies or anything at all that you have. And then making its way all the way down through your legs into the tips of each and every toe. Just relaxing and releasing bringing you totally at ease. Now, I want you to allow your fears to sit out there in front of you, facing you. And I want you to feel the gratitude that you have for your body's warning system. Gratitude that you have that you can feel these feelings, that they're working for you that they've been working to keep you safe. I want you to thank them for their service, but just realize and realize the ones that you no longer need. Realize some of those fears that you've been holding for far too long now that you no longer need. And when you're ready, just saying your thank yous your gratitude to them and your goodbyes and releasing them completely now. You thank them for keeping you safe. You thank them for however hard they've worked in those situations and scooping them up and blowing them away because you no longer need those because you know that in yourself, you are the power in your world. That you are capable of handling any situation that life throws your way. And that even though you may feel that little bit of fear, you know that you can handle whatever it is that's coming your way. There's no need to really enter deeply into that fight, fight or freeze mentality. And that you can act rationally, calmly, without ever amplifying the situation any more than it needs to be. And you can do that effortlessly and easily. And then coming back to your body and allowing that energy, that light, to come out just from your body, to form a protective shield around you. Now, this protective shield stops any of those old instances where that fear may have come up from even entering into your mind, into your physiology. And now seeing yourself in those old situations where you were ready to fight out of fear, where you were ready to run out of fear, or where you were frozen with fear. And seeing yourself, the age that you are today, acting rationally, reasonably, completely calmly, and how you would, as though you were making breakfast for yourself knowing exactly what you're doing and even having a little bit of fun in there. So those situations that have held you back, seeing yourself be in control of those situations or even just in control of how you're feeling and reacting to those situations 
no longer feeling that fear, no longer letting that fear have control of you. You are the power in your world. You are everything. And you are capable of even exceeding your own expectations in that situation. Now, while it may feel as though nothing's changed, I want you to notice the changes. As you try and think about those old situations, as you try and think about those old feelings that you used to have, realize what's there. Realize the calmness that's there. Realize the strength, that inner strength that you now have in those old situations. Realize how those old situations no longer affect you the way that they would have. And then bringing that back into your heart, allowing those feelings to spread through your entire body. This is who you are now. And then taking one nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, opening your eyes. Hmm. So guys, I hope that that has helped shift some of that old fear that's been holding you back. I hope that that has helped you overcome something that was holding you back. Leave a comment down below if one, it's helped you, or two, that you think that there's something there that I've missed that may still be there because that might help someone else. But anyway, guys, Hope you're feeling nice and relaxed and right in that zone, right in this present moment in time. I'm Robert Murphy and I'll see you in the next video.